talk to men after. and all you got to do is ask men what their results are because somebody else said it in the chat talking about men only think uh that youtube has gassed men up to think that money matters we don't need youtube to gas us up to think that money matters because if you go to any man and you ask him what did money do for his sex life he will tell you it greatly improved it i get way more chicks with money than i've ever gotten without it whether whether they was bagging a bunch we of them before this. after, so I mean, we understand. It's, we don't need YouTube to tell us, "Hey, get your money up because you'll get more bitches," or "Getting more bitches is gonna yeah. get you." Like we already this. know that's what yeah. money does. Let me say this, and we're gonna go to pressure um, um, to Paris. Uh, if if it doesn't matter what a man looks like, the dudes that are popping bottles in the club, those women are standing by the VIP. It doesn't matter. Nobody's saying, oh, he's cute and he got money. All they see is the nigga popping popping bottles. Doesn't matter what he looks like. Why do you say that we're not saying that when we are? Why? We uh, are. He's only cute because he got Girl, money. he's fine. And he got because money. He got That's money. what we're saying. If he's not, you know what we say? Girl, he, he is money. not. He ugly, but he, he got, got some money. money. So Exactly. He, he and, ugly, and, but he got some money. So he has to pay for her? sex like she was saying. And you know how right, many dudes are willing to settle for that? Bing, bing, that bing, around. bing, bing. You obviously get but, it now. But we always known that. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, the handsome ones that. don't have to pay. Did you know that? All right, go ahead. So, yes. and, I guarantee, and I guarantee you, a yes. handsome dude would still tell you that he bagged more bitches with money than he ever did without it. I guarantee you. It doesn't matter right, who get, you talking about. Let's get Paris in there. They're going to say that. No, I can wait. I ain't got number time. Um no, in regards to this particular topic, right, um, I have a platform. I've had a platform for quite some time. And at any given day, just on some random shit, I get about 50 miscellaneous DMs from men who have nobody to talk to. Just on some random shit. I have no way of knowing if these men actually um, watch porn or not. I have no way of knowing um, if these men actually like, you know, paid attention to me as an individual, right? It's just the idea of, like, it's just the idea. But I can absolutely tell you that um, their money, based off of their attraction, is what is aligning them to some of the women that they get. It, it, it absolutely is the money. Because some of them, they look like, and I'm going to be honest, some of them, they're very scrawny. Some of them look like they don't have the best hygiene just off of the pictures. They don't take very appealing you know, attractive pictures or, th or things like that, or they're having like regular social issues, bro. Like they're just socially awkward, even in DM conversations. And it's crazy because social media is probably the most easiest way to talk to a woman without you ever having to do anything, without you ever having to spend money. You can kind of probe her, see what she into, and they still don't have that type of uh, demeanor to socialize. So now it's even more awkward in social settings because men are being weird in social settings. And the idea of porn is like an escape go. Like you can go there, you can get your relief. That's a fantasy. The idea of all these things are like an escape go. But in actuality, they're not approaching women the way that they used to no more. A lot of men are fear mongered out of approaching women. So even when they talking like about like fine sex and stuff like that, we know me and know how to purchase sex. Like, that ain't hard. We know me and know how to purchase sex, but the art of actually knowing how to socialize, that's a missing piece. And it is very bad and unfortunate for men who do not have that type of leverage. Like, some of these men really don't know what, a, what it feels like for a woman to be nice to them. And it's kind of scary. It's really creepy. Like, they have no idea for a woman to just genuinely appreciate them. A lot of times my DMs go... I did not know you were going to respond to me. Thank you. And it, it's literally Most don't. It's like yeah. nothing else. Like, <laughs> and, and they not being rude or anything. They just wanted to talk. Like, they just really wanted to reach out and talk to somebody. Um, And I think that we don't look at it that way because we are women. Like, our access or leisure to it is from a, a privilege. Because even if we are talking about the club, there's plenty of women who are saying, I don't give a damn if he ugly or he fine. He's going to buy this drink. That don't mean I'm gonna go home with him. Right. Paris, I, 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 I agree with. I agree. I agree with no, um, ahead, some of those some of those situations because 
I don't, I'm, I'm not getting <laughs> near the DMs that you you would as a female, but I get some of those DMs, um, not for the same reason, but to advise or help men that are really bad. And they're in really bad shape. And I help as many as I can, right? And I don't even charge for it. I just do it just because I, yeah, I try to do my part. I do my part, right, for society to, to help you know, help it, help men get better, right? I'm trying to build a men's platform to help men grow. So at this point, as long as I can, I am not going to charge for it. I squeeze in time when I can, but it is what it is. And some are bad enough. The only thing I disagree with is that some men are so bad off that they will actually scare off a lady of the night. It's that mm-hmm. bad. I'm telling you, there are some men that are that bad where they can't even buy it. Because it's when you think about it, these women have options. If they're in the in demand, a woman's not going to get with a man who gives them bad vibes or it looks seems too strange or like you said, bad hygiene or whatever. They'll avoid those dudes because they're that bad. Because <laughs> if they if they if they hard up, then it is what it is. They're going to take what they could get. I'm about but to say these prostitutes hard, will sleep with somebody that is disgusting. He just got off of work. It depends. He did not shower. He's going to have they will. It depends on how, how de- it depends so, on how in demand that woman is. I know men who have scared off women who were they were offering yeah, to pay for is what I'm saying. Yeah, like um, I, said, I agree. This, this ain't no cap. This ain't I agree. no cap. Because they instead of saying from my platform, right? Because you gotta realize, yeah. like I have a very huge platform, Trey, of like you and I, yeah, are I know you at. on Instagram, but I don't just run Instagram. Like even my gotcha. YouTube alone is twelve it's twelve thousand people. So when I'm on Twitter, I get heavy DMs all day. I'm on Instagram. I wake up to heavy DMs. I ignore Mm -hmm. TikTok altogether. I don't even care about TikTok. And that's over 140,000 people. So I can't say that these men are engorged into anything sexual because my platform is not sexually related. But I can Mm -hmm. say based off of their appearance, right, it does Mm -hmm. appear that I can see why, right? Like even when you're looking at the things that they're posting, you you don't post yeah. like you're interested individual. Or if you look at how to groom themselves, and this ain't just no this this black men. Like if I'm being completely honest, this is black men. You you look at how some of them have their hair. You can tell like this dandruff in their hair. They don't have no real line. They haven't groomed themselves. They just <laughs> nice guys. Like they're just they look dusty. Like Man, you you know yeah. you would be surprised how often dudes would go months i can go i would go months without seeing the person in my chair bro Month, because like <laughs> part of it is because nigga, nigga kind of expensive 45 dollars. a lot of people can't afford that on a haircut every week but yeah, like that's you know why what i mean? do my own shit <laughs> yeah but i go in between weeks now i'm gonna tell you this trev you come to me bro it's well worth it but i i, think I believe it I believe it. Platform and men's platforms because men dress their platform up like whatever social media they're on based off of who they genuinely are most times. Most times you're not getting a representative because that's his personality. You're seeing it. If he likes cars, he's interested in cars. He's going to show cars. On that page. And if he he's likes sports. You know, exactly. If he works, if he always working, what you're going to see is him outside doing something. This is, like again, I have a huge following. On IG alone, on Facebook alone, over 80% of my following is men. And I don't show my body. I don't do none of that extra shit. I'm just talking. So it's like when I'm looking yes, at... Yes, you do. Some of these you literally have a, a short where it's just with, your face and your tits spilling out. You do. You with, show your body. Um, when I'm looking at these profiles and I'm going through what the actual thing is in regards to like, hey, what would his daily life look like? What is this guy who is making advances at me or, you know, complimenting me, telling me I'm pretty look like? Why? What, what would he have as far as on the dating market? It very much goes to show like a lot of them are not doing what women do. You know, a lot of them are not posting when they go out. A lot of them are not posting, you know, them having their friends around or at certain, it's just not that. They're posting little things here and there. They don't change their profile picture. A lot of times it'd be from 2016, 2017. 